I think a program like this is just so critically important. I think that providers, whoever they may be, it could be primary care physicians or specialists, it could be nurse practitioners, physician assistants, um, those of us who are providing care have expanded in so many ways. But the thing that hasn't changed is that we all need good, up-to-date, current information. And um, I think we all know that textbooks have become sort of a thing of the past. We all have a few on our bookshelves. But for current, truly uh, relevant information, it needs to be online. We all need to have access to that. And I think that for those of us like me who are at the University of Minnesota, that's never an issue. But there are hundreds and frankly thousands of providers across the state who don't have that kind of access and um, you know it creates a certain level of disparity and to have this available to all it's a very democratizing thing to do it's the right thing to do I think if we're trying to deliver care appropriately across communities wherever they may be both urban and rural um, that this sort of information should be there. It's already out there, but, uh, but not all of us have equal access to it. And as an educator, when I have a student with me, I want them looking up cases. They've seen a patient with a certain condition. I want them to do more than just tell me the symptoms, but you know, let's look up what the latest information is about this condition. And they need and want access to that. And having a program like this available to them, no matter where they are, whether it's uh, at a large urban county hospital or a very small hospital or clinic in very rural Minnesota, they should all have equal access to that. Patients too, I think, um, people who live in Minnesota need access to this. Um, it's probably more common than not that patients will come in already equipped with questions because they've found things online. And often as not, that information isn't very good and all it has done is ramp up or amp up their anxiety and they usually come in thinking they've got a condition that of course they don't have. Um, but other times they're very, they're very educated. I would love to have the ability to steer them in a direction so that I know that the, the information is evidence-based, that it has been vetted, that it's really good solid information. Mm -hmm.